Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD 2019 video tutorial. So previously we saw how to produce, how to generate templates, how to produce 2D drawings. Today we'll go through dimensioning and annotation. So if you open up the previous CAD drawing that we generated, now just a quick recap before we start. We've gone through mainly our drawing elements, so line, polyline, circle, rectangle, hatches. We've also seen move, rotate, trim, copy, mirror, fillet, stretch, scale, array, offset, explode, erase. So today we'll be, we've also seen layers, we've also seen blocks. Um, today we'll be focusing on dimensions. So let's suppose that we want to dimension this part. So probably the best way of doing it is if we click here on dimension or we type DAM. You can just select the item. So let's say I can start with the bigger one. So you can place it inside or outside. You can switch from, as you can see at the bottom of the screen on the command line, you can switch to radius by pressing R enter. So if I press R enter, I can enter the radius. If I press, if I press D enter. Enter and switch to the diameter. So I'll use this view to place my diameters. And now I'll use this view for my lengths. So I could dimension everything separately. So let's say by snapping these two corners to get my my first reference from there to there. See I could I could press enter again and now they mention this one. However there is a shorter way of doing it. So after placing the first dimension I can Go if we go on the annotate tab. Now, here we have linear dimensions, we also have aligned, angular, arc length. I will be going through this in a minute, but let's say if we want to continue, um, I'll just click on continue. Now, click here, click here. Up here, so you can see it continues the dimensioning for you, so you save a bit of time. Um, you can only do that after you place your first dimension. Another alternative is so if I enter my dimension again from there to there, 9 mil, instead of continue, I can use baseline dimensioning. So now I have to place that one and that one. Press enter. So it's probably more elegant doing it this way and very simple as well. And now I can just dimension my my fillets. Sorry, my chamfers. So you can either Type in a dimension here. Two by two. Or you can just um, type in leader and place a leader here. 
probably I'll start off my ortho mode and put my polar array and a 45 degree angle, press enter. And then enter first line of annotation. I'll say, for instance, 2 mil by 2 mil ch. And then I can apply the same row on this one. Enter one mil by one mil page. I can now move this down if I wish in order to make it more elegant. So we're just missing this dimension here. I'll quickly redo this again. So DIM So here to here and now baseline dimensioning up to here, up to here and up to here. That's it, that's our job done with this drawing. We can do the same here. We can type in DAM 30 mil diameter eighty mil ten mil and now we can dimension this line and this one so that's our second dimension done we can now do the same with the wheel PAM You can also you do um jogged dimensions like this one. Um I'll just carry on with the normal ones. So I'll go on that linear and I'll say diameter, theme diameter is the command, and then dimension all of them. And now I can do the same with this one. I can dimension my my recess and the overall width. So let's leave my bracket for the last one. Let's measure let's dimension this spindle first. Say so from there to there is five, from there to there is three. I'll probably measure it here at the bottom, and then I'll say from there to there is seventy. And now we can measure. Our radius or diameter here. So 
Okay, hindi mo. 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 Hindi Measure the length of it. Twenty mil. Thin tire. So we have all the information that we need now. So now we can do the same with this. You can measure beam, dia, metar, this two. This one, um, measure the thickness of it. So, we've dimensioned our pivot, wheel bush, wheel. Then spindle, our washer, we forgot to name it in the previous video, so I'll just copy the name of bracket, paste it there for now. Okay, and now we can proceed to measure our bracket so let's dimension our bracket so I'll do the same type in DAM not on my ortho mode from there to that is 5 from there to that is 50 from there to there is 35 from there to there are 30 there's 20 that's there's 80 30 30 this gap is 7 80 now we also need to provide the thickness of this which is 5 uh, the size of this radius so I'll use beam diameter Now we also need to know the width of this. We also need to know these two radiuses. So that's five mil. Um, that's ten. And we also need to know the diameter of this hole, and we also need to know the positioning. So that's sixteen mil. From the top, 
and 15 mil from the side. Okay, so we have our features fully dimensioned. Now, the next thing I'll be showing you is dimension styles. So, when you go and annotate, as you can see, in on the dimension tab, we're now working on ISO 25. So if I now go and manage dimension styles, I can switch between different dimension styles or modify them. So what I will do, I'll go and modify. And now here I am allowed to change anything. I can, for example, change the color. So right now it's by block. If I make it by layer, the dimension lines become red, which makes them more visible. Then I can change my line types as well. I'll leave them as default. Um, I can change my colors. I can go on symbols and arrows. I can change the arrow size, make it 3 mil for instance, if I want to. Um, I can change the text size, which I'll leave it as it is. The text height is 2.5, so it's reasonable for this task. But you could make your dimensions bigger by changing it here. Your units. So right now we're working on two decimal points, which is fair for the type of work we're doing. Um, alternate units and tolerances. So I'll make another video on tolerances. So now if I close it. They should update so we can see everything more clearly so this will be it for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one